Hello, my name is Peter Phelps of Phelps 3D, and in this tutorial I'm going to try to discuss some of the tools in the draft workbench that are, act somewhat similar to if you were trying to model something in Tinkercad. So it's much more of a, it's not very precise, we'll put it that way. So I'm in the draft workbench, we're looking at the XY plane, this is the grid for that plane. And I'm just going to draw a circle here. Now, if we click the Trim X tool, we have the ability, let me scroll, scroll out, to drag up and down on the Z, changing the size of the object. See how the distance changes over on the left? So this way you could create a cylinder really quickly but it's not going to be a very precise. Now if you wanted to you could type in a number and make it more precise. But this is more for those who are interested in using it similar to Tinkercad where you can drag and change. And now that's a cylinder. Now created an extrusion let's go ahead and create a, a box object to do the same sort of thing um, I'm going to create that one over here though click click and then I'm going to rotate around or I can, I can make the, our previous extrusion disappear. I'll select this and I'll use the trim X again. And see here, you have the same sort of where you can drag, click, and then you've created another extrusion. And I'll make that one disappear. Now I'm not sure this one will work. It's worked. Some, sometimes these Trimex things work fine. Sometimes it's a little weird. So I'm going to start with just the three. So that makes me a, a triangle basically. Select that Trimex tool, and you can go negative too if you wanted to. You can go below. So I'm going to go up and just click. And so let me try one more at least. Well, maybe I'll try another one, more than one, but let's see. Try this again. This time I'm going to change this. Sides to f say six. That would make a um, like your stop signs so six hexagon. Okay, and select that. Use the trim X tool again. Now there it goes. Okay, good. And you can sit here and you can drag. Like I said, you could make it go negative. It's still just a distance number. And it creates the extrusion that direction. So if you went and looked at it, see how it's, it's going below the other ones. Um, let's try to see if I can make... Oops, just made a line. It didn't finish mine. Didn't finish. Uh, it's 
doing some sort of air. I don't know. So let's try something else. Let's do an ellipse. Oh, am I on? Oh, I think I know what's going on. Somehow, we're on a different. Let's see. Yeah, somehow the plane got switched. That's an ellipse. Okay. Trim X tool. No good. Uh oh. Well, for some reason that one is not attaching to the right. So that's probably not going to work. And close it. I got the same reaction when I tried to do if I take this one I try to do five of course watch now it will work So you gotta play with it. <laughs> sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. See that created an error. Um, is there any other sh shapes I could play with? I was trying to do that. I wonder if I can draw that now. Before we had, didn't have the right, the right uh, plane for some reason. Something messed up there. Maybe this is some sort of cartoon character. I don't know. Bun. I'm just going to click finish. Oops. I goofed up somehow there. Close. Oh. Let's see if the Trimax tool will work on that. Okay, click this. Trimax. And no, it's not working on that either. <laughs> so, like I said, play with it. For me, for most of this, it's easier for me to do it in Sketch um, than to work with this part of it. So if I want to sketch, I can just pad, um, and I'm usually very precise in my designs. So, other than using what, like this thing just didn't work, um, if you want to use it this way, it's up to you. It's just I prefer to more control. I like my sketch workbench better for this type of thing. But if you're a kid and you just want to 
play around with some shapes. You could probably use this to do it. Um, Only the real advantage is the this tool here, e spline. that. I haven't tried this so we'll have to see if it will yeah, it's not letting me do that one either. Why is it still attached to that? attached to that it just didn't do it so like I said play with it um, I personally probably wouldn't design this way it's just this is an option if you want to show a kid how to just really quickly create objects but like I said some objects work some objects don't Let's see, if I go, uh, let's try this. Now it may be that, oops, you, nice thing is you can always come down here and change the faces. Let's try eight this time. Okay, and then, It's not doing that one either. And it may be just that the, the memory or the program system is going wonky. I don't know. I just know that's not working. <laughs> so, I hope this was somewhat educational. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.